Alright guys, we are back in Learn the Command Line, Redirecting Input and Output Redirections. So let's get started here. So, let's see. so up until now, we've been using input and output in the terminal. So let's go ahead and try echo. Echo is usually a command just for print. So, the echo command accepts the string hello as standard input and echoes the string back as standard output. So now you're familiar with standard input, standard output, standard error. Let's try our first redirect. Let's see, e echo hello hello.txt. And I think this should go ahead and put that into the hello.txt. Let's do a cat hello. Dot txt does. So it, I believe we're going to find out that it prints it out, or it prints out the input of the file. Let's see here. Alright, so the cat command outputs the contents of the file to the terminal. Cool. So let's try ls minus l. So this will tell us everything that's in... Oops, I put ls minus one. So that tells us the files and all their parameters. So let's see, cat, we want to see what's in oceans.txt continents.txt. Use cat to view the continents.txt. Alright, so cat. So that's going to give us all our oceans. Sorry about that. Uh, now we'll see all our oceans as output. Cool. So now we're going to let's see, take the standard output of the command. That's alright. So cat glaciers.txt towards rivers.txt. And now we want to view cat rivers.txt and we'll see both the rivers and the glaciers. Cool. Internal type cat lakes.txt. Let's see what this does. So it looks like this is just going to get the lakes. Then here some redirection commands in the terminal. We got cat volcanoes.txt wc. So 1726.204. I still we still don't know exactly what this is doing. We'll find out next slide. So let's here wc and cat. There you go. Make sure you use the uh, have correct spacing, and then use cat to output islands.txt. So you can see that it's still the same, or it's now the same as the volcanoes. Right, uh, a few commands are particularly powerful when combined with the redirection. Let's try them out. First use cat on lakes.txt. So that's going to take the input under lakes. And then we'll begin with sort lakes.txt. So it looks like it sorts all that alphabetically. That's pretty cool. And then we output the contents. Uh, now the cat sorted. 
slash Linux dot txt. Bam, so this actually, I believe it takes the lakes and we saved it in a new sorted, after we sorted it, saved it in the new sorted lakes so txt. So let's try this. We want to get our deserts txt out. Uh, so let's see, unique, so new keyword, a new command. We want to sort deserts. TXT unique. I will say I, I don't necessarily like having to wait a page to find out what this stuff does. Um, someone decided that they thought this was best. Uh, they probably know better than me, but I just prefer that we would have all our explanation before we do the commands. But uh, let's see here. It looks like we basically just transferred it over with the unique command and then maybe just the unique creates a file that's unique dash. Let's see here. Okay so unique gets rid of duplicate values. Alright. So in this case, let's cat out the mountains.txt. We then want to use a new command called grep mount mountains.txt. And then we're going to do grep minus i mountains.txt. Oh, mountains. grep minus i. Melt, melts dot txt. Oh, all right. And grep stands for global regular expression print. It searches files that matches a pattern and returns the result. Here, grep searches for mount and mountain slash text. Okay, so this is checking for mount. Um, minus i makes it case sensitive, so mount is capital. In this case, it looks like. Or mount is. You can't have a lowercase mount, like M in mount, for, with the minus i. Got minus r, arctic, slash home, slash cc user, slash workspace, slash geography. No such file. Oh, uh, make sure you're. Dash R design of space, so we have Arctic slash home slash CC user slash workspace slash GR. Okay. Uh, why did why did that work? One more time. Let's see here. Grip dash R slow downer Arctic. Oh, that's why it didn't work. Forgot to see an Arctic slash. Um, CC user slash workspace slash geography. There we go. So this prints out everything that has Arctic that contains the keyword Arctic, it looks like. And so let's try this one more time. Crap. Minus R1, RL rather, and that's Arctic slash home slash CC user in, the, in this file path. And if we put dash R1, it looks like it only prints out the files, not the actual the contents that contain it. Cool. Alright, so let's uh, use cat again to display the contents of forest.txt. Alright, and now we're going to use a new command that so said s 
slash snow slash rain slash and then we're going to set one more time s slash snow slash rain slash g forest.txt and let's see what this command does stands for stream editor it's always used when using set command so we always have to use this S. We do it. The search string, the text defines. So we're looking for snow, and the replacement string rain. So we're taking. We need the S. So we're looking for snow. We're replacing it with rain in the document. Okay. And then just uh, it looks like we're done. It goes over a, a few of the keywords here, and once I get my site up and running, I'm going to make. Um, cheat sheets for all this sort of stuff so that you can retain it a little bit easier and just have like one sheet with all the commands um, so I'll put a link to that probably uh, after this video is up but I'll see you guys in the next video it's our last final section for the learn the command prompt and I, uh, I hope you're enjoying these videos I know they're a little quick um, this whole thing is only about an hour but at the end of the day, just get familiar with it. That's all you can really expect from uh, free online courses. So I'll see you guys next video.